All right, a follow-up tonight on a story we have been tracking for months about Special Olympics Oregon. Supporters in Cottage Grove say they have reached a financial agreement with the statewide organization after about $50,000 disappeared from their account. And KZI 9 News reporter Michael Severn is live tonight in the studio to tell us what he's learned about this agreement. Michael? Yeah, that's right, Renee. And the CEO of Special Olympics Oregon tells me the details on this agreement are confidential, but both parties tell me they are pleased with the outcome. Hopefully we'll see some money coming in real soon. Carmen Dowell, a volunteer with Special Olympics Cottage Grove, tells me she believes this was the best possible outcome after she says $50,000 went missing from the Cottage Grove account this past summer. In a statement, leaders with Special Olympics Oregon say they were able to move forward together and resolve the issues surrounding the gift. Dow says Special Olympics Cottage Grove will be reimbursed for the missing funds, but she declined to say how much. It, it will have to be, you know, paid back in um, some years, you know, obviously because of their current financial situation. But we strongly believe that they're going to hold up to their word and they're working hard to raise some monies on their end. And hopefully um, it will be a positive outcome for everybody. In August, athletes and volunteers protested in Cottage Grove, demanding answers as conflicting financial statements from Special Olympics Oregon raised questions. Documents show the money was gifted to Special Olympics Cottage Grove in 2011 after Michelle Portman, a local educator, passed away after being hit by a car. Local volunteers believe the money would last them generations. Michelle's sister says they can now rest easy. Michelle would have been livid if she had ever experienced what what these poor folks in Cottage Grove had to go through to get that money back. But I know she's happy that the money eventually is going to her athletes down there. So we're all going to rest easier. While Dow says they still need to finalize the agreement, she says going forward, Special Olympics Oregon will allow local branches like hers to have more control over their finances. I think it was very poorly mismanaged, and so that's why I'm really happy they have new people in place that are guaranteed not to let this happen again. Dow says they've been able to put on bowling this fall by getting donations from their local Kiwanis and Lions Club. She says they plan to name their basketball tournament after Michelle Portman. Meanwhile, Special Olympics Oregon has announced they are relocating into a donated office space. They say it will allow them to be more cost efficient. Live in studio, I'm Michael Severin, KEZI 9 News.